He had joined the union, and he was the president. He was the sports person for the union, and he felt that it was his obligation to protect the people in that area. Several months after joining the union, Ned Cobb took his gun and went to the home of his neighbor Cliff James to confront the sheriff who was enforcing a foreclosure on Cliff James's land. And Ned says, please go back to the people who instructed you and tell them the situation. He will pay them what he owes them. And the sheriff said, no, nah, we're going to take what he has got this morning. Go, go in there and get that mule. Ned said, if you take it, you'll take it over my dead body. And the sheriff says, well, back out. He's back out, he says. And then the sheriff turns to him and says, you already done said enough for me to be done killed you. And Ned says, you want to kill me? Kill me. There's nothing but the air between us. Nothing but the air. He had on a long coat, and he had kept that gun hidden in his coat. A shot is fired. Shooting begins. And Ned pulls out that Smith & Weston, and he says, I unloaded it, he said, and it sang to me like a baby. Most of those shots hit the trees. And as Ned steps back into the house, he receives a shotgun load of buckshot in his backside. And my dad had on a pair of brand new overalls. And it wasn't a place on his overalls that my mother could patch. It was just, you know, they're white inside and blue on the outside. And they were just shot up. But my daddy was hopping. They tell me, my daddy said, well, pour it in me. Ned was taken to jail, where he languished for several months uh, until he was brought to trial for attempted murder. Now, the sheriffs had tried to murder him. But in fact, he and other members of the union were charged with uh, attempted murder. And Ned was uh, convicted and sentenced to 12 years in the state penitentiary. My grandfather was courageous. He was courageous, and all he was trying to do was make life better for everyone, not only his family, not only his brothers and his sisters, and for his wife and his children, but he wanted to see life better for everyone, whether they were white or black. And if he had to spend the 12 years in jail, he would say, so be it. I'll do it for it to be a difference.